there are five ways by which you could make sense of India's GDP numbers for the first quarter of 2021-22. But before that, it is important to place the latest numbers in context. For the record, the Indian economy grew by 20.1% in April-June 2021, compared to 24.4% contraction in the same period last year. But sequentially, meaning in comparison with the previous quarter, or January-March 2021, the Indian economy's growth rate saw a decline of about 17%. Clearly, the economy was impacted adversely in April-June 2021 by the second wave of COVID-19. The previous quarter had been relatively good as the COVID cases were on a decline. Look at it another way. Despite the 20.1% year-on-year growth rate, the Indian economy is yet to reclaim the size it had two years ago. In April-June 2019, its size was 35.67 trillion rupees. A year later, thanks to the lockdown, the size dipped to 27 trillion rupees. And now, in April-June 2021, it has moved up to 32.38 trillion rupees. But the margin of increase is not enough to take it beyond the size of two years ago. Indeed, the latest quarterly GDP print is 9% lower than the size of the economy in April-June 2019. Now, let us look at the five ways of understanding the GDP data. We start with the consumption story. Private consumption in the Indian economy, which essentially means the various goods and services that you and I consume, has been disappointing. Remember that private consumption accounts for 55-56% to 56 of India's total GDP. If this engine fails to roar, the Indian economy's growth potential takes a hit. Once again, private consumption or private final consumption expenditure PFCE, rose to 17.84 trillion rupees in April-June 2021. This was more than the PFCE level of 14.94 trillion rupees recorded in April-June 2020, the period when there was a lockdown. But in April-June 2019, PFCE was much higher at 20.24 trillion rupees. In other words, consumption by you and me is yet to go back to the level that existed two years ago. Sequentially too, consumption of 17.84 trillion rupees in April-June 2021 is 70% lower than 21.6 trillion rupees recorded in January-March 2021. Next, we look at government consumption. The big surprise is that the government's consumption expenditure in April-June 2021 was lower even than what it was a year ago. At 4.21 trillion rupees, the government final consumption expenditure, or GFCE, was about 5% less than 4.63 trillion rupees in April-June 2020. Clearly, the government's stimulus by way of consumption expenditure during the lockdown period last year was substantially more, and the government withdrew many of those measures in the first quarter of 2021-22. But the extent of withdrawal has been limited since GFCE in April-June 2021 was still higher than rupees 3.92 trillion rupees in the same quarter of 2019. Sequentially too, GFCE in the first quarter of 2021-22 has come down from 4.56 trillion rupees. But what about fixed investment? The Gross Fixed Capital Formation, or GFCF, a proxy for measuring the investment rate in the economy, went up by a massive margin of 55% to 10.22 trillion rupees in April-June 2021. But once again, this was still below the level of fixed investments created two years ago. It was 12.33 trillion rupees in April June 2019. Sequentially, too, GFCF in April June 2021 was 24% lower than 13.38 trillion rupees incurred in January March 2021. For a sustainable growth strategy, the rate of GFCF has to move up at a more rapid pace. Meanwhile, not just agriculture, but utilities did well too. Yes, agriculture was the bright and shining spot of the Indian economy in the first quarter of 2021-22. It grew by 4.5%, compared with a 3.5% growth rate registered in the same quarter of 2020-21, when everything else had collapsed. Thus, the size of agriculture gross value added rose significantly in the April-June 2021 quarter, establishing the resilience of this sector. But 
equally important has been the performance of utility services, including electricity, water and gas, where the growth rate of 14% in April-June 2021 took this sector size to a level much higher than not just what prevailed in the same quarter of 2020, but also in January-March 2021. Thus, the increase is both year-on-year -year and sequential. Last but not least, we look at inflation and taxes. Inflation played a key role in the performance of the Indian economy in the first quarter of 2021-22. The normal size of the Indian economy, capturing the impact of inflation, rose by 31.7% to 51.23 trillion rupees in April-June 2021. This was higher than the size of the economy in April-June 2020, but lower than what prevailed in January-March 2021. Another factor that played a key role in the growth numbers was a significant increase in central taxes collected in the first quarter of 2021-22. This was captured in the big difference between the figures on GDP and GVA. GDP includes the impact of taxes received after subtracting the subsidies. With the GDP at a much higher level than GVA compared to last year, the growth numbers seem to have benefited from higher tax collections and a tight control on subsidies disbursement. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.